Alexander's epic conquest of the world took him through Anatolia, Egypt, Mesopotamia, to Persia and India. A mighty trail sprawled across continents which was about conquest rather than the contemplation of nature. But the scholars who accompanied him brought back plant specimens to Aristotle's Lyceum. Theophrastus took to deep contemplation of them, leading to the birth of botany. Up until the 17th century, botany was only a semi-classified scattered science. Then Galileo's contributions improved microscopy, accelerating the studies in plant anatomy and botanical classification. Interestingly, Dutch Malabar joined this wave by classifying the flora of the Western Ghats under the patronage of Dutch governor Hendrik van Reed, who enlisted the help of Itti Achudan, an Ayurvedic physician, and his Konkani counterparts Apubhat, Rangabhat, and Vinayaka Pandit, also ensuring contributions from experts, botanists, engravers, and illustrators from East and West gifted the world Hortus Malabaricus. In 15 years, from 1678 to 1693, 12 volumes of Hortus Malabaricus were completed. Since its publication, translations in Portuguese and Dutch were made available. The original Latin narrative also had old Malayalam plant names and equivalent Arabic names to go with it. From Carl Linnaeus to Dr. K. S. Manilal, masters of the trade drew inspiration from it. Hortus Malabaricus had quite a journey, one which inspired inquisitive minds to continue their conquests of knowledge and put Kerala firmly on the botanical map of the world.